Hello class, my name is Thompson. I'm a trainer at Rubavu Technical Corporate and today we are going to learn together the module which is called Cell Phone Hardware Repair. Today's topic, we are going to see how to prepare for cell phone hardware repair and cell phone charger repair. At the end of this session, each runner will be able to select and arrange different tools, materials, and equipment required for cell phone hardware repairing. And he, she will be able also to repair a cell phone charger. As we are learning together, I invite you to take some note and do a practical exercise with me because we are learning together. Firstly, you may ask yourself, what is a mobile phone? A mobile phone is a handheld device that allows you to make and receive telephone call while you move along a wide geographical area. Suppose you are in North, East, Europe, Asia, why you receive and make call is by the help of a mobile phone. Nowadays, a mobile phone also supports several other functions, such as text messaging, email, internet access, photography, money transfer, banking, and so on. As you can see at your own screen, there are four main type of mobile phone, such as a bar phone, a touch screen phone, a flip phone, and a slide phone. While we finish to see the main type of a mobile phone, we are going to see tools, materials, and equipment required for cell phone hardware repairing. Firstly, as a professional technician, you have to select PPE, which is personal protective equipment meant to protect you against any hazard while you are doing a cell phone hardware repairing. After that, you finish to select PPE such as gloves, helmet, gloves, overall, and so on. You want to select tools, materials, and equipment required for cell phone hardware repairing. As you can see, there is a set of screwdrivers which are used to unscrew or assembling and disassembling your cell phone. There's a soldering iron which is used for soldering and desoldering. There is a precision screwdriver. It's also used for assembling and disassembling. Noise cutter, it's used for cutting. A tweezer, which is used to hold electronic components. Blush, which is used for cleaning. PCB holder, which is used to hold a PCB of your cell phone while you are doing any kind of repairing. There is a soldering pump, which is used while you are doing soldering and desoldering. There's a cleaning solution. There's a soldering gun or heat air blower gun, which is used when you are soldering or heat any part of your cell phone motherboard. There's a magnifying glass, which is used for zooming a PCB or printed circuit of your cell phone. There is a cleaning sponge. It's also used for cleaning. There's a battery booster, which is used to boost the capacity of your battery. There's a digital multimeter, which is a measuring instrument after we finish to see tools, materials, and equipment required for cell phone hardware repairing, we are going to see the main part of a cell phone. Before we go through the main part of a cell phone, we are going to see what is assembling and disassembling. Assembling a mobile phone is to fix together separated pieces in order to form one wall. While disassembling a mobile phone is to break down or to separate one device into many pieces. Please don't forget that one. Now on, we are going to see the main part of a cell phone. Firstly, we are going to look through external parts. As you can see, there is a housing which is used to protect the internal component. There is a volume control which is used to adjust the volume. 
there is on and off switch, which is used to switch on and switch off your cell phone. There is a camera, there is a speaker, there is an audio jackpot, and finally, there is a charging ports. Those are the main external parts of a cell phone. And now, as you can see, we are going to see the internal part of our cell phone. By the use of our precision screwdriver, we are going to disassemble our cell phone in order to reach the internal part of our cell phone. As you can see, the internal part, there is a battery. There is a SIM and SD card holder. There is a motherboard. There is a vibrator. There is a motherboard periphery, such as microphone, speaker, screen and touch screen, vibrator, front and back camera, earpiece, antenna, charger system connector, and so on. While we finish to see the internal part of our cell phone, we are going to see how a cell phone charger works. A cell phone charger is working on a simple principle, a conversion of AC current, which is found at our home socket or our wall socket, into direct current, which is required by the internal component of a cell phone to work properly or to charge a battery. As you can see at the block diagram of our cell phone charger circuit, there are four main parts. There is a transformer which is used to step down AC current to be converted well. The second part, there's a rectifier, which is a combination of four diodes combined together to form what is called a bridge rectifier, which are made to convert AC current into direct current. The third part, there is a filter, which is used for filtering in order to remove unwanted AC signal remain while rectification is going on. And finally, there is a regulator which is used to regulate or to supply the required output. The cell phone battery requires five voltage to reach the optimum level while charging. The general fault which occurs in cell phone charger is when one of those parts of cell phone charger is blown up, such as when a transformer is blown up, when a rectifier is blown up, one of the diodes which made a rectifier are blown up, when a capacitor, main capacitor, is blown up, which is made a filter. And finally, when the regulator is blown up. Those are the general thoughts of a cell phone charger. What you have to do when you found out that one of those parts of a cell phone charger is blown up, you remember the tips of soldering and the soldering. You do a soldering and soldering of different component of cell phone charger. And also you do what is called replacement of defected component of cell phone charger. Suppose a capacitor is blown up, you have to replace the capacitor which is blown up according to the corresponding one. And also when a rectifier is blown up, you have to replace according to the type. Finally, when we finish to repair a cell phone charger, what we have to do is what is called assembling, which is to fix together separated pieces in order to form one wall. Thank you for your attention. In our next session, we will see how to replace the screen. I hope as we were running together, you already took some note and do practical exercise with me because as I told you before, you have to do a practical exercise with me. See you next time. Enjoy.